Okay, here we go. This is my third attempt at a throttle. The other one worked, but it's too touchy because I didn't have the range. Basically, it doesn't have enough range because the middle point is the neutral. That's the braking and that's the forward. And there's no other way of doing it. So I thought of a way of doing it. As you can see, so you'll see the video, the pictures. I added a spring in the center so I can move it back. So basically, it's got to stop. And then I can move it back hard. So now I got full range this way. So basically, the reason why I had to do it that way is because I'll show you the setup procedure. Okay, right there you hear the beeps. That's the neutral. You press it once. Go full speed. It's gonna be hard to do with one hand. Press it again. But as you see, it's in a neutral position. I'll press it, nothing, nothing. So I have to go back quite a bit and then you can hear it. Okay, so now everything is right. Now because of that, that range of motion before it was very jumpy. And you can see I get the green light if you pull back. And if I want to use the brake. And you can see it's smooth before it was very touchy. It was very scary to ride. One little touch and the wheel, it would wheelie right away. So now I'm happy. Hopefully, well, that's what I said last time. So let's see what happens when I ride it today. And I will post the video. Okay, here we go. This is my third attempt at a throttle. The other one worked, but it's too touchy because I didn't have the range. Basically, it doesn't have enough range because the middle point is the neutral. That's the braking and that's the forward. And there's no other way of doing it. So I thought of a way of doing it. As you can see, so you'll see the video, the pictures. I added a spring in the center so I can move it back. So basically it's gotta stop and then I can move it back hard. So now I got full range this way. So basically the reason why I had to do it that way is because I'll show you the setup procedure. Okay, right there you hear the beeps. That's the neutral. You press it once. 
go full speed. It's gonna be hard to do with one hand. Press it again. But as you see, it's in a neutral position. I'll press it, nothing, nothing. So I have to go back quite a bit and then you can hear it. See, so now everything is right. Now because of that, that range of motion before it was very jumpy. And you can see I get the green light, it's really cool glass. And if I want to use the brakes. Yeah. And you can see it's smooth before it was very touchy. It was very scary to ride. One little touch and the wheel, it would wheelie right away. So now I'm happy. Hopefully it will. That's what I said last time. So let's see what happens when I ride it today. And I will post the video. First test run with my new throttle. Let's see how she runs. Oh. What happened? Where is it at? Oh, you're yeah, not winning. Way better. Look. Oh my God. What a dick. It feels like a new bike. And I can you bike. Which way? Look at that. Oh yeah, it feels so much better. Now it feels proportional. Yeah, and I can still break. It's definitely a success. I will let you know more later on when I ride further. Oh, it's a skinny bag, you right? It's a paper bag. It's like a pooper. It's not jittery, it's not scary anymore. Yo, it's not jittery, it's not scary anymore. Oh my god. Yo, this shit feels good. Before you 
Stop getting even there, like it's all over the place. Oh, like, oh man, I kill myself. Go to the top. To the top one. Oh man, yo now it feels like a, like a, well, oh, look professional, look at that, look at that. It even sounds better. It even sounds better. Hi, how are you? Hey. How you doing? What's up, man? Where's David? You feel how smooth it is? That, that extra, that extra pot. Yeah, no, the extra linear potentiometer made a big difference.